my night owls and welcome back to another sims video we are back with the black widow scott is giving himself a prep talk he is still sad from his, the death of his last wife so i was thinking of adopting a cat and seeing if that would help boost his spirits so let's go and buy ourselves a kitty i'm hoping I don't know if it will change his mood in any way, but I'm hoping it will. He needs to get into a better mood before his birthday is tomorrow. So we need him in a better mood before then. So here we go. We got Fish. Oh, Fish is adorable. I think I want him to have a black cat. If there's any. Oh no, there's no black cats. But we got Clover who looks like a raccoon. This is my first time adopting a cat from... The Sims, in The Sims, I mean. So, I'm gonna get Taco. Taco is a sketchish fold. A Scottish fold, sorry. Kitten, female, and she is sp spade. Oh, look it, the person's coming. Hello, good sir. Oh, Taco. Let's adopt the cat immediately. <laughs> Okay, yay, we adopted Taco. We're gonna leave her name as Taco because I love tacos, so. <laughs> Taco it is. Congratulations, you've added a pet to your household. Yay. Okay, let's see if th this would help Scott. So I have a whole bunch of things lined up for Scott to do. Let's fill this for the kitten. And then I'll go work on Scott getting on sad and I'll bring you guys back once he's on sad because I thought maybe getting a kitten will like make this go down, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, so that didn't take that long, um, surprisingly. Okay, so the kids are home. They've been home for a good while now. And Lily, Lilith's here. I don't know why I keep calling her Lily. Like there was this one time I called her Lil Lily as well. Maybe I should call her Lily instead of Lilith. Because their names are so similar, though. Okay, so Lilith is an A student. And Leon here is a B student still. I thought this time he would be an A student, but he's not an A student, which is shocking. I have them both doing their homeworks. He finished his homework, but he had extra credit, so I'm having him do extra credit. I'm thinking since she's doing so good in school, I think think she can do like after school stuff i would put her in a, like join her in a club but like i don't know it's just a pain in the butt they don't do it on their own you have to like do it as like it's just i don't know <laughs> i'd rather just have them just go and do it okay so her homework is complete does she have extra credit she does you know what, I'm not going to make her do extra credit because she's already doing really well in school and there's no reason for her to do extra credit so but she's doing the jobs now. Okay. There's babysitter. I don't really want them to have jobs. But these are kind of like part-time jobs. But I don't know. Oh, there's drama club. She can do drama. And that doesn't pay. Maybe she should do babysitting. No, I think she's going to do drama club. Yeah, I'm going to have Lilith do act drama club. I mean, not, I was going to say acting club. Sorry. Drama club. So she's gonna do drama club. Leon gets his grade up. Maybe he will do Boy Scouts. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's a little weird to do like Boy Scouts when you're like a teenager. But I don't. Anyway, so she's gonna be doing drama club. Uh, is she helping him with his home? Oh no, she's chatting with Leon. I thought she was gonna- I thought she was helping him. I'm like, oh, what a great big sister. She's helping- I don't know who was born first. I didn't even really pay attention to that. I think it was Leon and then Lilith. Le so Leon's older than Lilith. Just by a few. So we're gonna go visit Callum and his sister. Um, because I want him to, I want Scott to be able to invite Caleb to his birthday. I need Scott to know Caleb so he could cheat with him on the last wife. Oh, look at you guys. Caleb's outside. 
Cool. Okay, so let's really introduce ourselves. Or may no, no, let's do a flirty introduction. <laughs> Fruit Simba. <laughs> so cool. Hey, so he liked the flirty introduction. Nice. Okay, so let's get to know him a bit. Her a compliment. We're gonna get to know him a bit, and then, then I'm gonna set up the birthday party. Whoa. Okay, so some of the flirtation did not work, and now Scott is immersed. So that is fine. We're gonna go home now. So here we are at Scott's birthday party. Uh, and we brought the soon-to-be wife here. I, I don't want to know. Did we propose to her? No, we have not proposed to her yet. So, we have to propose to her. But, right now, we're at Scott's birthday party. Ooh, yay, Scott's birthday cake is done. So, let's add birthday candles. So, okay, so I am so annoyed. This lady over here... This purple biatch right here just took a slice of cake. She took a slice of cake before Scott could even put the candles on to blow out the candles. If we were out in public right now, I would have Scott murder her just because. But because we're in public, we're not allowed to murder anyone. So she's lucky that we're not at my place. The reason why I'm having it where he cannot kill anyone out in public is because he can't draw attention to himself to let everyone know that he's a widow. If he kills someone, they're going to be like, okay, so he killed this lady. I wonder if he killed somebody else and they might dig into his past some more. So, yeah. And look at it. The party is almost over with. And guess what? If this ends before Scott blows out the candle... I'm going to reset another birthday party and then have him blow out the candle. Okay, so the party had ended and I just remade a new thing. <sighs> We're doing a freaking dance, Scott. Stand in one freaking spot and blow out the candles. Like, for, for the for fuck's sake. Okay, so here we go. Okay, Scott has aged up. Got aged up. Okay. Oh, I just gave myself a little scared right there. I don't know. He, I aged him up and I, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired, you guys. I am so freaking tired. I just don't want, I want to record, but at the same time, I don't want to be recording because I'm so tired. But like, I want, I want to, re I want to record at the same time. It's so annoying that I'm tired and I, <laughs> I just want to record. Anyways. So Scott blew out the candles, and I got a little scared, thought he was already an elder, and I'm like, what? No, he can't be an elder, he has to be an adult. Cause he, I, but, I don't know, my brain's not thinking straight. Anyway, so, yeah, Scott is a, an adult now, he's not an elder, I freaked myself out, I'm sorry. Okay, so Scott had somewhat of a good birthday. <laughs> I don't know, like, I had to read, I had to have two birthdays, well, we, we had one birthday, and it was, like, a fail birthday, because, like, I don't know why, but it went by super duper fast, and I'm like, <sighs> so I had to redo his birthday, and then he blew out the candles, and I had a freaking meltdown, because I thought he was an elder when he's not. <sighs> Scott will be getting a makeover in the next video. Because it's that next stage in his life, so we need to change his look up. Okay, so here we are on our date with... Why do I end up picking the girls with the weirdest and hardest names to say? So we're here with our girlfriend um, to eventually propose to her. Eat faster, lady. Jesus. Got it. Ate really fast. Girl, eat your food. Well, date was complete, at least. Okay, now that she's done eating, finally, after she took God forever to feed her, to feed her fucking face. Here we go. 
<laughs> oh, she said yes. <laughs> she peeled out the wrong name. Oh, Yay. <laughs> cool. Yuba. Okay, so she said yes to us getting married. So we're going to pair Bill and then leave. I'm on my last ride. I'm broken. Oh, Taco aged up. We came back early because Taco suddenly aged up. Sadly, we missed it. But yeah, Taco aged up. No more, no longer a kitten. So here we are at the wedding. Lady, what are you wearing? Are you pregnant? Okay, here we go. She's so pretty. I love her. I love how she came out. Like, I love all of them. When I give them, like, little makeovers for their wedding, I love it. I love doing that. I want to give her a makeover, but I know it's going to be pointless to give her a makeover due to I'm just going to kill her in a few minutes after the wedding. Like, a, yeah, after, like 15 to 20 minutes after the wedding, pretty much, we're going to freaking kill her. So there's no point in giving her a makeover. But anyway, so there you guys have it. They are married. Achievement. We got achievement. Zero. Zero mon. Gamus. Monogamous. Perform marriages in twenty unique households. Okay. Scott, come and talk with Caleb some more. Thanks for coming. Oh, tell unbelievable story. I actually had a great idea, you guys. Um, I was thinking of maybe having either Leon or Lilith go to the vampire who can go change Sims into vampires. I may have Le Leon or Lilith go to the vampire who can change them into a vampire and have them chain Leon or Lilith into a vampire. So the thing but with that they don't they won't die unless they are out in the sun for too long or something like that, then they'll die. So we'll have like one of them go get bit by the vampire that could change sins into vampires and have one of them live forever. And have them have children. Maybe I will do Lilith. Um, maybe Lilith will be the vampire of the family. <laughs> Thanks, Caleb. I don't know if I got the picture or not, but Caleb's right in the middle of that, so... <laughs> That's hilarious. So the wedding is almost complete. We just have to have people eat their food, which... It is now complete! Yay! Okay, so the wedding is now complete, so I'm gonna end it and have everyone go home. So we are home now, and with our new beautiful bride, um, she brought- we got some good money, we do. We got some good money, which I'm very excited about. I think I'm gonna do a little house makeover again, like do this room. I think the kitchen is- fine for now. So I'm gonna do a little decoration of the dining room. Uh, I don't think this room needs any decorating. I always, I want to do Scott's room and maybe do his bathroom again. Give them maybe one of those smart toilets like the kids have. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle 
that I can lose Each painful but delightful to live through You came into my life just like another season Not for long, just a time, just like another season Just like your mind Like the sun gives in to the moon Into the night Time continues marching It slowly crawls With each new one starting I recall Okay, my night owls that is pretty much it that i want to do today there is a lot that we still need to do so in the next video scott is getting a makeover we're going to kill our last and final wife and move on to men lilith is gonna meet the vampire that can change her into a vampire and i'm going to ruin Lilith and Leon relationship. Okay, so they're going to be mean to each other and stuff like that. And their relationship isn't going to be as good as it is now. But I am not going to make them hate each other. I'm just going to make it so it's less than what it is now. So yeah, that is pretty much it, my night owls. We have a lot to do in the next video. I'm super excited for all of it. I hope you guys are super excited about it. If you guys are, make sure you give video a thumbs up subscribe if you want to ring that bell if you want to see more videos from me and yeah i will see all you beautiful night owls in the next video goodbye you